And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everyone and welcome. Now we've all seen, we've all seen since the demise of our monarch, the US media have used this to attack us British for the same old crap they've always said. And the same crap being reparations, re reparations, re is one of them saying it. Multicultural and diverse Britons who want this answered, who want to see their monarch finally talk about what it means and what you know, potentially the idea of reparations, definitely justice. Here's another. Those who are asking uh, for reparations for colonialism, and they're wondering, you know, $100 billion, $24 billion here and there, $500 million there. Some people want to be paid back, and, uh, and members of the public are wondering, why are we suffering when you are, you know, you have all of this vast wealth? Those are legitimate concerns. Both of these buffoons were immediately smashed down by British historians and royal commentators. So it was glorious to see. Go and check out my videos if you've not already seen them. So I thought, I thought I'd smash this stupid idea of reparations out of the water. Now, if you, if you may be aware of a gentleman in America called Thomas Sowell. Let's have a listen to what he says about reparations, shall we? And then we can finally put this stupidity to bed, which is actually just jealousy of Britain by American CNN reporters. Always got to be hate reporting, hasn't it, from that side of the pond in regards to the media? No, it, 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 it was a rotten system. But I don't know how, how, how we get from that to reparations. I mean, what we see in the United States in terms of the bad things, you see all around the world. If you were to give reparations to everyone whose ancestors had been slaves. I suspect that you would have to give reparations to more than half the entire population of the globe. Slavery was not confined to one set of races. I suspect that most of the people who were either slaves or slave owners around the world were neither white nor black. I mean, this was, this was a universal curse of the human species. Africa, the Middle East, Asia, oh, slavery and, took place and, everywhere. And, and, and it continued elsewhere long after. Uh, it, it was abolished in the Western countries. It's Shelby talk, Shelby Steele talks about white guilt. Mm. And in Ta-Nehisi Coates, you get almost the counterpart of that, uh, a kind of African-American claim against the white guilt. And this seems, it, beginning with the abolitionists, even beginning before the Civil War, mm. you seem almost every generation, there's some expression that Racism and slavery, as Shelby calls it, the, correctly, of course, the sin of slavery is so deeply, and it's something we still live with. How do we expiate it? How do we get past it? Is there something we can do to relieve ourselves of this legacy? Oh, I think you should repeat it. If you were a slave owner, I don't see any reason why you should feel differently. On the other hand, if, I can't get over the idea of A, apologizing for what B did. Okay. Uh, even when they're contemporaries, much less when, you, when, 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 when one is dead and the other is alive. All right. I mean, Scalia, I remember saying, you know, that uh, I, 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 I owe no man anything because uh, pe people who look like me called, did something that people who look like him. So there you go. I don't need to say anything else to that. So in regards to the media in this in America, shut your mouth holes. We don't have to pay reparations. I could go in deeper, much deeper, that would prove we don't have to pay rep reparations. But maybe you should pay reparations to us. That's all I'm saying. Stay sane. I'll see you on the next one.